what's the best piece of advice ever given to you, Brittany? And again, it could be more than one personal or professional. The best professional advice I've received, and I I do not remember who I heard it from. I don't remember mm-hmm. where I heard it. It probably was social media. I saw something that said, don't be a solution looking for a problem. Mm. And I don't, I cannot, I don't know who to credit for that. Yeah. But it just resonated with me, especially as I'm embarking on this entrepreneurship journey, because sometimes mm-hmm. when you have an entrepreneurial mindset or when, or just when you just have a lot of ideas, right? Like sometimes you just fall in love with your idea mm-hmm. and you're like, this is the next best thing. And, you know, sometimes folks get all, they, they put all the work in, they get the website up, they get the, this and the, that. And then they're like crickets <laughs> because this solution actually doesn't have is not doesn't solve a big enough problem for a big right. enough audience. That's exactly so, right. Yeah. So hearing that, I was like, wow. And then kind of like underneath that, like bulleted underneath that is be open to if even if you have a great idea that is solving a problem, mm-hmm. a great solution that is solving a, a big problem that is a, truly a problem for people, don't be married. execution of that problem yeah. like whatever your is you know so for example with black girl math jig initially i thought okay i'm action by i am creating this movement for girls between the ages of eight and 16 years old mm-hmm. and then as i got a little bit deeper into the research and the customer discovery and some of those other things i realized actually i'm not focused on age i'm focused on grade level I'm more focused on where a child is in their math journey versus their age, because, you know, there are high school kids who are actually on a middle school or elementary school grade level. So this, what I'm putting together is going to serve children who are between third and eighth grade, because that's when the foundation of mathematics is introduced. That's when all of our basic you know, we learn all of the basic math skills. Sure. So if I have been so focused on, okay, eight to 16 year olds, eight to 16 year olds, you know, now I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm not, I'm not keeping this open mind. Mm-hmm. Um, I could have missed out on, you know, some opportunities there. So that, that's, that kind of stands out in my head professionally. Mm-hmm. Um, person, personally, so I grew up in a, a faith-based household and okay. My mother just always stressed to me, you know, she would just always say when I was really sh- like just strong, str- stressed or like high strung, you know, she would say, just be still and pray. Mm-hmm. And it always worked. You know, once great. I was able to be still, because when I'm high strung, I'm like, oh, I'm all over the place. So being able to really be still. And then now we know that as an adult, now I know that to be a form of meditation. But back sure. then, I didn't know what that was. I'm just no, like, be still. Still. <laughs> <laughs> be still. Um, that. So that is, that's always been, and that's something I still try to do to this day. Mm-hmm.